Good morning, horns up and welcome to the 5th episode of the Demon Stealers Indian Metal Podcast. Perhaps I should start venturing an opinion. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? Let's get straight to the news. So, we're starting out with our favorite band and the one that is featured most on this podcast so far, Sky Harbor, who are constantly in the news. And well, that's because they've released a brand new single called Blindside. I don't know, have you heard the single yet? If you do, tell me what you thought of it. I haven't, you know, heard it properly yet, but I'm looking forward to spinning it over the week. Also, it's the last day of their USA and Canada tour. Man, that's been an incredible run for them. If you look at the pictures, they've been playing to packed houses. And even despite all the bad luck, they've powered through. So welcome home, Sky Harbor. Looking forward to your next tour, which I believe is in India in February next year. So good luck to Sky Harbor. And speaking of touring, System House 33 is also on tour in Europe. It's just kicked off their tour with Six Feet Under. Their first gig, however, didn't go as planned. They posted this update. Flensburg, you were awesome. Too bad this show got canned. We would have loved to perform on that stage and rip the place apart. Sadly, Six Feet Under weren't in town and even though we tried to make it happen, it didn't. But we look forward to playing here somewhere in the near future. Tonight we play at Rockstock. See you guys there. So as you can see, touring anywhere in the world is not an easy thing to do. There's always unexpected circumstances and shit happens. However, their next gig went off well and so did the gig after that. If you look at the pictures, it's going pretty well. In fact, the drummer of Six Feet Under even messaged me to say, Hey man, I'm touring with an Indian band. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. So Indian metal is spreading. Speaking of touring, I posted an update last night about the realities of touring that these days a lot of touring involves actually paying to play. You can check my Facebook profile and read on and share your comments and you know in fact leave me a comment below. Tell me what do you think about it you know. Is the scene going to get better? How are bands going to survive? You know people keep saying touring makes you money, touring makes you money. But the fact is unless you're a big headlining band you're not really making money on touring as well. So share your views and comments with me. And since we are on the subject of me, uh, Thunderstorm, the show happening on the 9th of Jan in Thane, has announced that the headliner for this year's festival is none other than da -da 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 -da, Demonic Resurrection. So cannot wait to come back and play in Thane, even though it's only a two hour drive from Mumbai. But looking forward to it, see you guys at Thunderstorm. So Winterfest 2015 has been announced and that is a show happening in Kolkata. It features bands like Obscure Defilement and Counting Absurdity. I've never heard of any of these bands but I believe more names are to be announced. And you know what, recommend some good bands from Kolkata. Leave me a comment, tell me about them. So this band called The Minimalist from Silcher in Assam have posted that they are releasing a brand new single called Rigor Mortis on the 10th of December. They have even revealed the artwork which you can look at right now. And tell me, what do you think of this artwork? I don't know, I hope the song is more kick-ass. Let's wait for it. And speaking of new releases, a band called Abhishapta Samadhi from Guwahati that plays symphonic death black metal have announced the release of their single as well and have revealed the artwork. The song is called, wait for it, she screams suicide on solitary nights. Ah! Anyway, look at the artwork. Tell me what you think. You know, share your opinion on this artwork. And I look forward to hearing the song when it's out. Another modern progressive gent metal band called Altonis has released a new EP called A Way Out I. And I know it's got Indian members because there's a Gaurav Jeet Singh and there is a Ritwik. But there's also a guy called Daniel who is from Italy apparently. So interesting collaborations are happening in the scene. Check their EP out and tell me what you think about it. And old school metal bands, where the fuck are all your releases man? Come on, share them. Welcome to the weekly video updates. And this week we've got three videos for you. Mute the Saint featuring sitar sensation Rishabh Singh, the guy who bought us all those covers of Animals as Leaders and Mishuga on the sitar, have released their first playthrough video for their first single called The Fall of Sirius and you can watch the video here click on it and you know tell me what you think about it it's interesting a sitar modern progressive metal does it really go together do they need vocals what do you think about it share your comments below also 
veterans of the Mumbai metal scene Scepter have released a song called Hate Unleashed and a video for it as well of course. Now Scepter is a band that's been around for longer than even Kryptos and Demonic Resurrection I think now. 17 years. Now they have kind of returned to their roots. They've added lead guitar into it. So tell me what do you think about the band? What do you feel about Scepter? What do you think about the new song? Share your comments below. Now this last video is not a brand new video but it's been one that's been under the radar. Crystal and the Witches from Sikkim have released this video for their song Oceans. Definitely worth watching. Check it out and tell me what you think about it. That's all the videos for this week. It's raining gigs now. Man, gigs are happening, gigs are happening. The first gig is on the 8th of December. Siddharth Kadadi from Zignima is hosting a guitar clinic where he pays tribute to Dimebag Darren. This is happening at Furtado's Music at Marine Lines in Mumbai on the 8th of December at 5.30 pm and entry is free. So the Blood and Roots tour is kicking off this week. In case you didn't know, that's Third Sovereign and Plague Throat touring the entire country. I think they're doing about 11 shows and they kick off in Shillong on the 9th of December. They're joined by Gutslit and Elemental and a lot of other bands. Looks like a kick-ass lineup. And their next stop is on the 11th of December in Guwahati where they will be playing at Shilpagram. Another bunch of bands will be joining them. I cannot decipher the names from those logos. Maybe you can. After Shillong and Guwahati, they are going to be going all the way to Bangalore where they will be playing at Insurrection 6, also part of the Blood and Roots tour. This is a kick-ass lineup. There's Kill Chain from Bombay. There's Inner Sanctum. Look at that bill. You should definitely not miss this gig. And you should not miss any of the others if you are in those cities as well. That's all the gigs I have for this week. Make sure you update me about gigs that are happening. Like I mentioned in the last episode, there's a Google document linked below in the description. Update it. In the merch corner today, we have no merch. But... Having said that, you should all head on to tometal.com for lots of Indian band merchandise. Also to redwolf.in where lots of merchandise is available and paintcollar.com. I think you can find enough merch to buy and guys remember, buy merch, support the bands you claim to love. Okay, so I thought I'd also add this new segment today called Ask Demon Sealer. This is where you can ask me a question and I will answer it for you. So leave me your questions below and I will answer them on the next episode. For today, however, I will take a question from my ask.fm. So I was asked, would you like to elaborate a bit on differences of metalheads in India and the ones abroad, referencing to HBK episode with Gutslin? Now this is a very broad answer, but I'll try and consolidate it. Very simply speaking, the audience outside India is largely from an age group of 25 to 45 and even older. They are people who have jobs and have money to spend on their music. So you find a lot more people outside India buying merch and CDs and things like that. So the infrastructure is a little better, you know, when they go to a bar, they drink at the bar. Unlike in India where you drink outside the bar and then you go inside. So that's why venues in India don't really want to have metal gigs because nobody buys booze. Having said that, the audience is more or less the same. They're as loving and supporting as anywhere else in the world. Indian fans are amazingly passionate and you know they are especially in cities like Bombay they mosh like crazy you play anything they mosh but every city every country has a different audience you know like in Slovenia they are crazy they are crowd surfing like mental people like it was like like some kind of attack alien attack but the body surfers were crazy Czech Republic the moshing is insane in Norway it's more like stand with your beer and go oi 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 and in Mumbai it's like Tuzima so anyway hope that answers your question if you have a question leave me one below and I'll answer it on the next episode and of course before I end this podcast I've got some music to recommend so here's 1833 AD, the black metal band from New Delhi. Check out their album My Dark Symphony. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it is My Dark Symphony. And, ooh, 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 ooh. guess what that is? That's a free copy, and you can win it. All you have to do is share this podcast and tag me in it. Since I realize most people are really bad at tagging, tag my personal profile or tag my page, The Demon Sealer. The link is here. And of course, who won last time's competition? Well, the winner for last time's competition is Praveen Menon from Chennai. Congratulations, Praveen. I will send you your Bever CCD soon. And if you want to win My Dark Symphony, then make sure you share this podcast and tag me or my page. 
So that's all. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, like the video, subscribe to our channel and keep sharing this shit. And I'll see you on the next episode of Demon Steelers Indian Metal Podcast. Uh. Share your views with me. Tell you what. Tell me what. <laughs> Looks like a kick up. Like their next stop is on the. Fuck yeah, fuck ah. It's the same lineup. The same. Ah. After all the jaja jaja bands coming out of Kolkata, a uh, debut EP. And Rishabh, don't type out long answers, huh? I'm watching you. Kidding. <laughs>